Today's video will show you 10 easy ways to reduce power consumption on your Windows 11 PC. Feel free to use the chapters to navigate between the 10 methods if you've already tried some of them. As always, if the video helps, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more helpful videos. Let's get into the 10 methods. The first method to reduce power consumption is to change the power plan and enable power saver mode. It can be enabled in the settings to reduce overall power consumption. Head to the settings by searching for it and choose system from the options on the left side. Now choose power and then on the next page, find where it says power mode. In the drop down box, choose best power efficiency from the list. You could choose balanced if you are already on high performance, but it's up to you. Above this option, you can adjust how long your screen will stay on. Lower these times to further reduce power usage. Method 2 is to change more specific elements of the power plan we have selected. To do this, search for control panel in the search bar. And then when the control panel opens, go to system and security. And then power options. Find your current power plan on here and click on the blue option called Change Plan Settings to the right of it. Now click on Change Advanced Power Settings to open a new window. In these advanced settings, first find the option called Sleep and click on it to expand it. There are a few more options that we can change in here, such as turning on Hibernate. Now find the option called Processor Power Management and expand it and find the option called Maximum Processor State. Feel free to change this number to something like 80% initially. This will limit your processor to 80% and will save power, but you will lose some performance obviously, especially when running demanding programs. So if it's not worth it, then you can return to here and change it back to 100%. If you find that 80% doesn't make much of a difference to the performance, then you could even go lower to save more power. This is quite an extreme settings change and I'd only recommend doing it if you are desperate to reduce power usage. Remember to click apply to save any changes that you've made. The third method is to prevent certain apps from running every time you start your PC. These apps will start automatically and run in the background which uses resources that can use extra power. To disable startup applications in Windows 11, first head to the main settings page. You can get there by searching for it in the search bar. In the settings, click on apps from the list of options on the left. In here, click on startup, which should be the bottom option on the list. On the next page, you will see the list of apps and some will be turned on, which means they will run at startup. Feel free to go down the list and turn off any apps you know you don't use. You can use the sort function at the top to help show you the apps that have the biggest impact on performance. Method 4 is similar to the last one and it is to close any apps running in the background or those that you aren't using. You can close apps that you aren't using normally, but to check for certain background apps, we are going to head to the task manager. To get there, simply type task manager into the search box. When the task manager opens, look down the list in the processes tab for apps that are using a lot of resources such as CPU or memory and close these when you aren't using them. Don't end the task though for any programs you don't recognize as they might be system services. The fifth method to reduce power consumption in Windows 11 is to lower the brightness of your monitor. Although it's not on your PC, Lowering your monitor's brightness can reduce power consumption of your whole setup. Lowering the brightness can be done by accessing your monitor's menu with the buttons on it. However, the exact method will be different for each monitor, but the option to change it should be easily accessible in the menu. Method 6 is to free up disk storage space on your PC. A drive that is close to capacity will run less efficiently and use more power. There are a few quick ways to free up space on your device that I'll cover. Firstly, it might be worth emptying your recycle bin, which can be done by right clicking on it. You could sort through your downloads folder or uninstall a program you are no longer using. You can uninstall a program by going to settings, then apps, then installed apps, and then by finding the app you want to uninstall, and then finally click on the three dots icon and choose uninstall. 
For even more ways to help free up space on your device, click the card on screen now to watch another video of mine with plenty of methods to try. The seventh method is to turn off additional features. For example, things like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi if you're not using them. Although this might be rare, if you really need to save power, turning these off can help. Thankfully in Windows 11 it's easy to turn off Bluetooth. All you need to do is go to the main settings page, which can be accessed by searching for it. In the settings, you can turn off Bluetooth in the Bluetooth and Devices section, and you can turn Wi-Fi off in the Network and Internet section. The eighth method is to check if there are any power issues that could be causing excess power usage. To do this, we're going to run the Power Troubleshooter. This can be done by first going to the main settings page, and once in there, click on System from the options on the left side, although you should be in there by default. In the System settings, click on Troubleshoot, and then choose Other Troubleshooters. Now look down the list for the troubleshooter called Power, and click on Run next to it. Allow Windows to look for and suggest any possible solutions that might help. Method 9 is nice and easy. All you need to do is unplug any peripheral devices from your PC, if you have any, when you are not using them. Any device, such as an external drive, might draw unnecessary power. The tenth and final method is to focus on the physical elements of your PC. This can be anything from ensuring your PC is running cool by cleaning dust and ensuring the fans aren't covered. It's a good idea to keep your device as clean as possible as dust can cause overheating which slows down your machine. You could try to improve the ventilation around it or even invest in better cooling options if you think overheating is a problem. Also improving the hardware such as upgrading to an SSD from a hard drive will be more energy efficient. Those are my 10 easy ways to reduce power consumption on a Windows 11 desktop PC. Here are a few extra methods you might find helpful. Thanks so much for watching. If you found the video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways to improve the sound quality on your Windows 11 device. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in another video.